Hi everyone, today is the final uh, review of the uh, Jinbao series. I showed you uh, the robots mode, the alt modes, and the uh, individual uh, member mode, limb mode, whatever, uh, of the Devastator. And today I'm going to uh, combine all of this uh, on camera. My setup is completely inadequate. I'm going to have to do something different to be able to get this on camera uh, for you guys um, but I'll manage and I'm actually excited to show this to you I'll uh, you'll be able to see the, uh, the flashy eyes or the, the lighting eyes uh, with the battery and everything I'll show you how where it goes uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will like it I don't know how long it's gonna take uh, we're gonna get there at the end and uh, Hopefully, uh, and then and then I'm gonna be stuck with the uh, last problem, finding room to put him. Uh, he's potentially gonna go right here. I'm gonna remove Galactus and put him there, but because he's a little unstable, I think I'm actually gonna go get a big stone or a brick in front of him so that he doesn't lurch forward. I don't know, I'll uh, figure something out. Uh, or maybe I'll just use a ton of Kiki on some uh, of those joints, but uh, I don't, think it's gonna be enough uh, all thanks to makes master but anyway uh, I digress I really hope you've enjoyed this series so far I hope you enjoyed this review as well so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting him together on camera uh, you know I apologize for any camera bump or anything like that I don't know how I'm gonna shoot this you'll see in a minute also check out the voice acting playlist of my channel something I'm uh, very proud of and the more I do so the more I like the business of voice acting uh, and uh, so I actually prefer the actors now to the actual characters. I they, they grow on you, these guys. Man. They're they're legends now. So anyway, check out that voice acting playlist. It's worth it. And uh, also, uh, don't forget at the end you get the 10% discount code for DJC Collectible, my sponsor. Uh, fantastic guy, fantastic shipping, fantastic service. And now, on with Devastator. Well guys, let me tell you something, power shooting 7 videos in one day is a terrible idea, especially if you have COVID and if your uh, air conditioning is broken. But I did it. Right now all 6 individual reviews are shot, I just need to upload them, which by the time you see this, uh, it will all be taken care of, and I truly hope that you've enjoyed those uh, quick reviews. Uh, some are longer, some are shorter, but uh, and now here, my setup, as you can tell, is completely different right now because this is absolutely impossible to shoot properly uh, with the setup. <clears throat> Sorry, with the setup that I have right now. So I'm going to uh, improvise, and I don't want to handheld the camera, uh, but I will uh, show you uh, the pieces and uh, try to connect everything in, uh, in one. Uh, one shoot. So first you have the gun which I haven't shown before and there's nothing in the instruction that explains why there's a swivel here, uh, why this piece is this piece lift, why there's handle like uh, come on, like this on this gun, why it goes down like this uh, I don't know why there's a rotation here, why there's a peg. Maybe it pegs somewhere on Devastator that I haven't found yet. Uh, this could be a, like a turret mode, like this. I don't know, no idea. Yeah, so, uh, but I'm gonna use it as it should be in gun mode. Uh, I guess like this, I'm gonna do this. Gonna be my display. Uh, 
All right, so that's gonna be later. Uh, the only piece that's not hidden is the long hauls gun. I'm gonna have to figure out uh, a place to peg. And the other accessory that we have is the chest piece, which will unfold like so. And give us that, uh, you know, chest piece that we all love. So now, let's move the camera so you won't be able to see my face to most people's uh, enjoyment. Uh, I'll try to do this as best as I can. I apologize for the setup. Uh, the first step is going to be the feet. So mix master on the right, the left, sorry, and then scavenger on the no scrapper on the right. I hope it works well. I honestly do, and I'm gonna raise the camera as we go. So. Uh, let me cut. I'll be right back. Sorry, I had to go muffle some sound, and I realized that uh, staring at my beard, I'm graying. Yeah, 44 years old. Anyway. Um, the foot, like this, with no pressure on it, they actually look pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, I forgot to pull the pegs on, uh, on the hook. Uh, give me a second. Sorry, I had to extract the, uh, and that's the proper word, extract the, uh, the pin for the shoulders, uh, well, to connect the arms. Uh, that was pretty painful. Everything is well hidden and there's not many places to grab tiny pieces that are super tight to get proper leverage. I guess we're going to start with the foot uh, scrapper and hopefully this guy is not going to be super loose again. So, I did something wrong. Yes, I did. Hold on. Sorry guys, I just realized that uh, long haul was backwards. So now he's good. So. I truly hope this holds uh, properly. So what we want to do is grab, basically at the back here, there's that little peg. And that's gonna come in that hole over there. And it's not easy to line it up properly. Well, actually you went in just fine. Now I'm going to clip it like this, alright, and now, and, hmm. I'm going to do the same thing with, alright, so you can't do it when the peg here is straight, come on, ah there you go. need a better angle and I'm realizing maybe I did something wrong because there's not much space between scrapper and uh, mix master. Let me go second. No, I got this right and got this right too. So I guess you have to play with the Ratchet, I give it a perfect angle so that uh, the two pieces don't hit each other. Now, if I can just get it that peg properly. There you go. Alright, so far so good. So we have the legs, we have uh, this piece here crotch area, I'm gonna have to raise it like this, sorry I had to cut, I just received a coffee from my lovely wife, and those footsteps are my kid, um, alright, so this looks good, uh, they do tell you here to flip these around, now for the life of me I don't understand why, I prefer to leave them like this, looks better, so now, I'm trying to put them on camera, you see the foot here, so far it's holding, the pegs are holding, I'm happy, I think I got it more stable this time, maybe I mistransformed them when I was just testing. And now we're going to add hook 
on top of this. So we're gonna take this part here, and there are those pegs on this side here. They're gonna go on top of, well, you can't see it because I didn't raise it. Oh, here's my face again. So there's, how about I do this? You see on top of the cabin? That's the peg I'm aiming for. And on the other side, I, oh, there's another peg and I have no clue where it's going. Oh, I just found it. It's gonna go right here. And then after that, this is going to plug in those two holes in the back. This is so amazing. Uh, wow, on camera, that's going to be tricky to do. Uh, okay, let's line this one up first, so it's going with this. And this. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's one in. Two in. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. It looks stable. I'm happy. Uh, okay, I need to put this piece here. Uh, first, they say clip the back. For stability. This head keeps moving, but there we go. So, that's done. And then there's a piece here. Oh, maybe it's the other one. There's a tab here, there you go. And nothing on this side because that's the foot. Sorry, I'm looking at the instructions at the same time. Yeah, because I don't want to mess this up. Oh, we're good. So we have the head. I'm gonna move it a little more. Sorry about uh, my hand. So far he's stable, so far he's good. Now this piece here, supposed to go straight here ah, there is a peg on the side here and it should line up with a peg in the middle and is there one on this side there's a little tab yes ah, having a hard time plugging it again hold on This bit. I guess. Oh, there you go. All right. So this is lined up. Now the instruction they show the guns down, so you don't use the guns, the cannon, in Devastator mode. You don't need it because he's so strong. But according to some research uh, by uh, Matt from uh, TTRP, uh, Transformer Talk Raw podcast, uh, if you add all the stats of all the combiners like each individual part and you put them in a total devastator is the weakest combiner maybe because he's the first one shockwave didn't uh, perfect uh, the technology in the beginning all right so now that this is done i'm gonna add this because it's gonna be a problem later that stability come on it, I don't want it, it feels like it's gonna go sideways but it's stable and this foot here makes matter hasn't caved in yet it usually caves in all the time so I have, I'm, I'm actually very happy but this is a, a heavy arm so this peg is gonna go into that slot that's been a pain to Play with. I don't know if Alright, it's in. Oh, he's leaning on his left side now. So that foot wants to give way. Okay. Okay, okay. It's gonna work. We can still make this work. I'm going to move him a little bit this I'm letting him go and I'm gonna plug the other arm so you get a briefer spike with my face. and now he's way too heavy there you go all right let me pull him back 
I hope the sound is good on this one. All right, so now he is very back heavy, so I'm gonna try to angle it forward. Maybe put some, uh, some pressure, some not pressure, but some weight with the arms forward. And nope, come on. See now the foot is caving in. Uh, you have two pegs here, and those are gonna go in the hand. There's a pegs there. You can't really see them from this distance, but sorry guys, but I don't want to move them too much more. I'm gonna move them. There you go. He's over. That is holding. Kind of a weird grip. Oh, don't don't lean forward. Don't lean forward. Ah. This is too loose. This foot. It's crazy. If anybody has this set and they found a way without the upgrade kit to be able to stabilize Mixmaster, I'd appreciate a comment from you. Uh, but he looks really good. And now, for the final part, I'm gonna take... Oh, I totally forgot about that. I can, if I want to, I can remove the faceplate and add a new one with an open mount. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, all right. So, looking, there's instruction on how to install the battery. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, pull the head down, or up, yeah. and then there's a. Uh, maybe I can show it to you. Uh, I'm taking a big risk, but I want to do this right for you guys. Uh, he's holding. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, th that that part there is removable on the side. Come on. There you go. So this, and then you remove the little plastic tab that's preventing the battery from burning itself. And then all you do is you add it here, and you close, oh no, you have to put it there. Put it forward, and then you replace this part here. Please reclose. Not working. There you go. Well, sorry, you guys can see it yet, but it's, it's there. And it's here. Turn him around. Now he's gonna fall on every side, but you can tell. Maybe if I close the ring light for a second. And, oh, well, there you go. Glowing eyes. Fantastic. It's a great feature, but you can't see the battery there because. It's not recommended and uh, I also don't want to use up all the batteries for this guy. Uh, let's turn on some lights. There we go. Uh, this. Okay. So overall, the hands all have individual movement. They all have finger, uh, all the fingers do move. And, uh, like this, so that's pretty good. Sorry, it's kind of warm here. Um, you have a rotation here, you have uh, the elbow, you have a full rotation of the arm on each side. The head will turn 360. Uh, 
I'm not gonna test a waste rotation. That probably is. Actually, there is. I'm just not gonna do it. And technically, because of the knee joint, you have a knee bend. You have an ankle rocker and a back and forth a little bit, but not much. Come on, stay put. I'm trying so hard not to break in it. And now I have to have the guts to put him on top of my shelf next to Omega Supreme. But like I said, if I lean him, and that's gonna be super lame, but I'm gonna lean him, lean him on his back. I'm gonna put a, a brick at the foot so that he doesn't slide down and go feet first. But I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if you, uh, it's super warm, so you've seen me a little uh, sweaty, but I really wanted to get uh, this review done. He's a fantastic set. Uh, if you see him on AliExpress, just go ahead and get it. It's absolutely worth it. You have this uh, green version, you have the yellow version, and you have Kato's version, which is uh, the dirty, uh, oily version of uh, Devastator. And it looks really good. I mean, this whole set is fantastic. The details, it's very stylized, but it's the best Devastator I've seen. Except maybe for uh, Toy World Constructor, uh, which my pal Memo has. And, but he's super expensive, really uh, hard to find. Um, but he, he does look more cartoon accurate. This is not cartoon accurate at all. But you look at him and you know it's devastating. So yeah, sorry for the whole setup of the uh, review. Um, I tried to do my best. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives a right to be an asshole. Take care.